nonprofit leaders, founders, and fundraisers. Stephanie Miner here, director of NPO Centric, where we help nonprofits with everything they need to go and grow and become sustainable. In this video, I'm going to show you where to find photos that you can use in Canva, how to upload your own photos, how to make those photos go into a different shape using grids. I'm going to talk to you about the elements that Canva has to offer. Get ready. This is the meat and potatoes of using Canva. Everything that you can drag and drop into your design on Canva is called an element. When you first click element, you are going to see the recently used elements. These will be things you used in previous designs. As you can see, there is a robust selection of elements inside of Canva. They have a lot of photos. Some of them are free, and you can see that in the lower right-hand corner. Some of them are the pro version, which means you have to pay for them. Um, you can also search for various elements by typing in a general keyword and then you can go further down where Canva will give you some other terms that you might want to search that are similar to that category. Here we're searching for volunteers, we see photos, we see videos and audio, and I'm going to click back here on all to see everything in that category. Here you can see that we can change colors, orientation, we can make things animated or static, and it's very easy to do. Here you can see this panel where I'm clicking around here is where I have uploaded templates and then I am going to show you how to upload additional media. You click here on the purple bar and as you can see you can upload from Facebook, your computer, Google Drive, Instagram, or Dropbox. It's very easy to upload using Canva. And then we're going to go back to um, our element space. We're going to click on charts and grids. As you can see here, you have a chart that you fill in numerical values for and the shape and design of your chart or grid will change. So check that out. They make it really easy to add those things into your design. And then we're going to go down a little further and we are going to explore frames. Canva has a lot of different options for frames, lots of different shapes and sizes, as you can see here, circles, things with lines across them, letters that you can drop your photos into. Here we'll click the diamond shape. I'm going to move that over to the corner and then I'm going to go back over and grab a photo. So there you can see I just drag and dropped it in. I can crop it, I can move it around, center it inside of the frame. And then I can also go back to find other photos and just pull them in right over the top of that photo. I can detach that image and remove it from the element and go find another image that I can drag and drop in. And so the next thing we're going to look at, we're going to scroll further down, and we're going to look at grids. And that is where you can put a couple of photos together, and they're lined up very uniformly. Canva makes it very easy to do that. We're going to go to what we have uploaded before, just drag and drop them in. And then you can see up here by clicking spacing, we can move the pictures within the grid. Canva makes all of this very, very simple. It's such an amazing resource. That's it for today in the Canva for Nonprofits video series. And today you learned all about how to find photos, how to use photos, how to use the grid function, and a bunch of stuff about elements. If you like this content and want to see more, please let us know below. And also be sure to click below to join our Facebook group where we have lots of information on fundraising, social media, marketing, everything you need to make your nonprofit successful. I hope to see you on the inside.